let's take a look at this um, barracks in streamer okay it's well built very firm gosh i love it um not cast iron but you know metal uh it comes with these little slots so you can string more than one together You've got these little uh, slots on the side and as well as the bottom so you can rack among them okay okay let's go to the front side you got the reset button here you got a little reset button reset to factory settings okay you got two other LED, two leds here show your um, status leds when there's power when it's um streaming when it's disconnected you also got a headphone output headphone here um it's direct monitoring so it's not um any delayed or stuff like that so you get to direct what's coming in to your rcas of course it's um stereo i got your left and right rca connectors here you've got your rs232 port which will um you can send and receive other digital information here i use it to send metadata to my um from my automation software to my website okay and this sends um the metadata it's the same um power source as, as your normal android phone okay the voltage it's um 5 volts 100 milliamps which is really cool this this doesn't need much power to operate this yes so you can even operate from a power bank all right for your phone um you're out in the field ah uh, you can use this to stream all right and power is definitely no problem your normal phone but it comes with its own power supply okay yes you got your own power supply with it um different formats of audio you can um stream with it it's um, mp3 you got a pcm you got g.711 g.722 and you can stream via uh tcp udp and of course shoutcast um icecast um rtp format all right <laughs> a wide range of formats and stuff you can use this um mp3 encoding very low latency okay this is one of my favorite little devices in the studio um i have it activated so once it gets um any sort of um audio from my broadcast console it activates one time and it starts streaming which is really cool it's a must-have once you're serious about um audio encoding and you need to go out in the field it's a nice little box to knock around you can take the beating take the pounding well well built and very firm very reliable the um the the only thing i don't like about it is that that rs232 port sending my metadata it's very very difficult to configure you will have to set up your shoutcast in um sort of relay mode stuff uh, so you can collect metadata from your um automation software to stream to uh, your website man this give me a lot of help conf configuring but yeah i got it working so it's it's fine that's the only bad thing about it um you configure it via um your ip address log on to your computer and got its own little interface where you can do all your configuration and stuff so for this barracks and streamer i give it a thumbs up definitely